Every time. Every time she lives in play. Every time Sheila. That's why we call her Sheila. This the, the maestro right here. Red wow. Mayo, he just, he just, you know, perk her up, bring her to life. She was just a wig over there. She, she about to become Sheila. Then the, then the body language gonna change. The voice gonna change. Once we get her right. This season, season four, in the costumes of the character, we really see that certain people have made a lot more money. So we see especially like Aunt Louie, it's a winter this season, so we have leather jackets and leather jumpsuits, like Whitney Houston, that very like sort of over the top glamour, fur and jewelry and diamonds and gold. Jerome, we were especially doing sort of what did this last season also, like kind of an homage to Dapper Dan, who was a, a fashion designer of that time and now, he's still working, who took let's say specifically a Gucci logo and kind of redid it so it's very like in your face logoing that felt very flashy. Flair, style, class, but indulgence. If you take the 80s, you'll see Jam and Jerome in leather. It reminds me of Houdini or Cameo or, or Eddie Murphy or very much kind of having a more gangbanger look, so he would be tough, kind of straddling those two worlds because the reality of how they make this money is so violent. A couple of weeks later is fine. Just don't let it get any longer, okay? Headed to a job interview right now. Well, all right, girl. Go. Even Sissy is kind of upped her game with trying to fit into like a more what society considers to be um, upscale dressing as armor to be protected because people with money are generally more protected in society. Like things that really say to the outside world like we are successful and we've made it in a way that's very obvious and not subtle. We have the means. You have the connections. Match made in heaven. Some might say that your money came to you rather quickly. Franklin has always been kind of preppy, waspy kind of ideal of fashion. Franklin and his members only signaling a different type of dignity of the men that may grace the golf courses, like the Arnold Palmers, such the Izod, real crisp Stan Smiths. It's just indicative of what he sees and what he would want to aspire to be. You know, if he went to an Ivy League school, that's how he probably would envision the people that he would want to emulate. The bloods, it was like the reds and the charcoals, navies, the darker colors so that you didn't have really any blues. And for the crypts, there was khakis and greens so that when people saw you, they knew exactly who you aligned with so that in the right neighborhood, you wouldn't be hurt. Like a military uniform that you put on to do this sort of work, but you know, maybe with the chain and the nice sneakers to kind of show that you have money, but it sort of aligns where you are in the world. I think cocaine is the epitome of privilege and crack cocaine is the epitome of the lack of privilege to see these drug dealers aspire to, to that larger than life persona is indicative of the style that we see. You want the sneakers to always be brand new and fresh and clean. The very thick chain, the thickest, you know, the thickest chain you can get in the moment. The pants being pressed and everything feeling fresh and new and not worn in. When you've come from a place of not having the money to buy fresh new clothes, that is what's important to you just really like showing success. I don't want to come out here to make us rich. This Charles, he don't have much of what you might call a filter. We ain't got much of anything, but still fly. I think it's the American trap. These, they're willing to put their lives in danger to, to kill people, to constantly kind of be on the edge of being arrested. And in the case of Franklin, to destroy his own community in order to really lift himself up. I think there are a lot of amazing things about our country, but that feeling that I think a lot of people feel, like if you don't have money, you know, it's not worth anything. It'll drive you to peacock around and it'll drive you to do horrible things. So I love how Snowfall is able to infuse the styles of where they are, of where we have been, and also what we aspire to be, whether that's for good or bad.